today being the last day of the year this is the last review and this is my last purchase of the year hope we all have a better year starting tomorrow so let's unbox it mm, it just arrived so i'll just cut it open so this uh, ph meter has a range of 0 to 14 and uh, this is highly accurate they claim it has a good review so here we have the box Kunivo near digital pH meter it can be used for testing various type of water highly recommended for hydroponics or aquarium uh, just uh, to make sure that you have the correct pH for your plants and fishes so it can be used for drinking water swimming pool water any kind of water so the, it has a box and there is nothing else inside it it's pretty much it comes with a nice plastic box feels good compact in size not that big so let's open the box okay so we have uh, three pH buffers. Uh, the first one is um, 6.86, the second one is 9.18 and the third one is uh, 4.0. So this is used for calibrating the device and uh, before the device let's see what we have, what else we have. We have some paper over here. So. Let me get it out here. So this paper shows the range, accuracy, power supply, calibration. So these uh, pouches are used for calibrating the device. So we need to mix it with distilled water. I'll uh, shortly make a video on how to calibrate because I don't have distilled water right now with me. Um, so once I get it, I'll make a video on that, the usage methods, mm, yeah, some details. Coming to the meter, so here is the meter, pretty much it's the on off button, the calibration button and I guess we have the battery chamber right over here. it's pretty tight so yeah this is the meter we need to dip this and uh, make sure uh, you clean it with distilled water every time you use it even during calibration you need to uh, clean it with the gently tap it and clean it uh, before you use any other solution so if i am use um, calibrating using 6.86 so uh, before you put it into any other solution you must clean it with distilled water just normal distilled water you have to dip it and then tap the and clean the sensor in order to get accurate result and I'm sure we need to buy a few more uh, pH buffers because we need to uh, do it consistently yeah, it's not a one-time calibration so let's see the battery I have opened the battery compartment so there are two batteries as you can see here it's already preloaded with two batteries you can change it once they're exhausted so let's put it back and keep seeing the meter so yeah so we have our on button over here as you can see it's not calibrated i'm not sure what it is showing it's showing the max value of 14 so let's turn it off and uh, let's wait for the calibration part which will be uploaded by tomorrow maybe enjoy the rest of the year and let's hope to have a better year starting tomorrow thank you again for watching it please do like and subscribe and share with your friends Thank you.